can never do well. And today's just reminding us of that. Right, I know we're here. How true care? Yo, yo, boys and girls, it is your boy Dallas here, back with another video for the channel. I hope you're having a great day, wherever you are, wherever you're watching this video from. I hope you're a smashing day, wherever you are. You might be asking yourself here, why am I outside Roots Hall, bending down on one knee in front of the camera? That's because it's match day, people. Eastley visiting the hall, so let's get into today's video. So, match days are back, people. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel down below. We are so close to getting to 1,500 subs. It is immensely close. Now, keep subscribing, guys. Like and share with all your friends. It does the channel wonders, and I love you all for it. But, easily, are the visitors to the hall today. And what was going to be labelled as a dark day for the hall there in the background? There was rumours of a protest going to happen, hence why I'm on the east side today. But either I've just missed it due to traffic, or it, they're not here yet. I'm running late. I'm hoping it's the other option, rather than the first I miss it because otherwise oh it's not good at all but Eastley are here exactly the same form as Blues going today one free drawn one lost one ex-player Lee Bradbury the manager of Eastley returning to the hall today we faced them back I want to say it was in September early in the season at least and we did lose 2-1 thanks to a brace from Danny Whitehall and the second goal was immense. I'll try and put a clip of it somewhere around it, but it was a monster of a goal. We need to put it right today. There's been no league action for us for a couple of weeks now. We have fallen out of the playoff spots. We're in eighth. Only one spot below, but they all count. We need to get back into it today. Need to take it early to them. Eastley, not that great away from home. Their home form is amazing. Let's get that straight away. Their away form, not as good, let's be fair. I'm hoping today, 3-1. Gus Scott Morris is back in the team. I'm hoping and Jake Hyde might make the bench. I don't know. Let's get into the hall now. Now, come on, you boys. Right then, that couldn't have worked any better, if I'm honest. Literally, just finished the intro, heard them coming around the corner with We Want Martin out, and it was brilliant, to say the least. Well done to all of you down there. Managed to get a few words in with Chris Phillips as well, which is always a good thing. Ooh. Shoot! Ooh. 
dear. It's not a nice thing to say, especially on this damp overcast of weather, but we do find ourselves 1-0 down. It was so easily avoidable, that goal. Blondie just out muscle in the box, stretch for the ball, can reach it, and it ends up at the back post and in the net. We have had chances, to be fair. We are getting forward, we are trying to get things, but East is just, they're really organised in that middle. Their midfielders are there to break down play. Even if it means taking a card, they do not mind doing it. They're both their centre mids, I believe, are on yellows, as is North for us. It has been feisty and fiery off their goal. Blues pushing forward easily, trying to wind down the clock in the half time. It is, to be fair, a good game to watch. We need to go out in the second half. We need to get more on their face. They have been breaking us down. They don't mind throwing a dirty tackle. We obviously like our free-flowing football. Maybe we just need to get a bit hands-on dirty with them. Just break it, break down their attacks a bit more. Just launch counter-attacks. It's going to work. There's more goals to come and maybe even a red card or two. Come on, you blue boys. Get a goal. It's not giving hope on the pitch right now, is it though? Still 2 0 down. Yeah! Yeah! That's one! That's one! Carter scores! That is one back! Get in! Find the half! Good 
<laughs> what do you say? 3 1. We can't do well against Eastleigh. We can never do well. And today's just reminding us of that. Five minutes left. We'll see what happens. Back of the car now. Disappointing afternoon to say the least there. Free one full time at the hall. It's oh it's a hard one. It's a really frustrating one to take. I'm sure a lot of you can agree with me when I say that was so so undeserved. I mean easily, yeah, okay, fair enough. You really did play well on the counter attack. You had good players. Your time wasting was bloody annoying. Your players dropping like flies. Yeah, that's just natural now for you guys, but uh, you won in the end, I, I have to be gracious and say you won. But we could have done a lot there, let's be honest. Blues, we could have done so much more. Up top, we just we could have had bundles, but it just wasn't good enough. Like, but It was similar versus Darlington, sorry. We had chance after chance after chance. They just didn't hit the net. And today, we had chance after chance they didn't hit the net. We didn't really trouble them too much in the first half. Second half, we woke up and came after it a bit. But it's too little, too late by that point. Easily run out the winners. I think they're now one point off the playoffs. I don't know where that puts us, but a lot of teams around us lost. Dags lost, I heard. Wildstone were losing at home. I think Bromley lost, I think I heard. But either way, it doesn't really matter if we're not winning. But after what was, the afternoon started with protests and anger. It ends on an angry note. Unfortunately, it's not a nice one to take, but we move on to next week. It's York at home in the league, which, yeah... <laughs> Let's just bring it on. Let's see what happens. But I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share your best mate, your neighbour, your boss, your dad, your mum, your sister, your next door neighbour, all of them. Share with the lot. My name's been Divesty, and most importantly, peace. <laughs>